from Kenner's Deli, here is Peter Tilden. On a 790 K. I love how big that guy is, like we've been gone for 20, we've been gone for a minute, now back. Peter yeah. Tilden, so it's it's Tom Sherrick, the film czar, Ned Coletti from the Dodgers, Jason Alexander, Councilman Zine, and Kevin Cronin from Mario Speedwagon. Tom started to ask cool questions. Did Jason? No, it's his... It's his head and sign, okay. Tom. She's making $213,000. Don't, don't no, $213,000 more than I'm making? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. And look at all the benefits you get. Peter represented me for this job. You got Tom, what did you get, a dollar to be the film I got a dollar, yes. A dollar. Pretty man. Tom's doing, by the way, you know, the, the amazing thing about Tom is he doesn't need to do this, doesn't have to do this. I know this man pretty well. He does it because he wants to do, wants to make a difference. And you're up against a lot of politics in Sacramento. You're against a lot of people who are trying to steal business from the city. And it really is tough because it's not about the big producers. They're going to make the money anyway. It's about the diner, the guy in the diner across from from the lot. It's the flower about, shop. It's about the flower shop. It's about all of that stuff. There's hey, so my many. My son people. works in the business. My son. What's your son do? Paris works in uh, and uh, he, he was a grip for a while. He he does a lot of PA work and That's you great. know drives a uh, you know drive and he's you know. You see the difference. He, he's, he's a great guy, and he, you know, it's like, uh, so he, he appreciates it. He appreciates your efforts for sure, Tom. It impacts him, and it is a tough job. Well, your kids, they, how come your kids aren't in music? They grew up around you. Well, per Paris is a great drummer. Right. He was an amazing drummer. In fact, he was in a, in the group that became Hoobastank. Wow. Yeah. If that, I, I guess that's a dubious distinction, but it, uh, but he was, you know, he's a tremendous musician. And the other, the other two? Well, they're in high school. Okay, well, don't you yell know, at me. You don't have to give me attitude, Mr. Ario Speedway. I don't want him in the group. <laughs> yeah, why? yeah, why did I get so... Uh, that was all, Back to 5,000. A lot of attitude. Like, I know, what was that about? Well, I don't know. Me. You know, there's a lot... I know. That's I what the, like, group, the men's group will help you work through those issues. <laughs> You know, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Sherrick is, he doubled his, his income for this year by taking the Zar show. He did. He because has. he's a special assistant with the Dodgers, too, for a dollar a year. Which is amazing. So he's making two dollars. Yeah. So, yeah. Tell, two dollars. Tell him about the fundraiser we did when we did the auction. For the oh, at the uh, Santa Monica. LA, no, LA City College. City College. Yeah, oh boy. So, um, I'm getting this award there, and they say, you know, who would you like to introduce you? So I say, well, you know, Tom Sherrick. Who, who could you find better than Tom Sherrick, except for you know Jason and Peter? But um, they were busy. <laughs> but they were both busy, and it was going to cost me far more than a dollar. <laughs> so Tom gets up, introduces me, and then um, we auction off a couple of Dodger packages, and uh, Mr. Sherrick runs the price up like crazy, <laughs> and actually wow. bids on it. And wins it. Right. No. Oh yeah. You ran the price oh, up and yeah. then bought it. You're and really bought strategic, it. Yes. aren't you? Yes. <laughs> you know, but other people follow. But said, other oh. people follow. He's the best at, at, at raising money. Tom is raised. And I can say this: if you give me the num the amount, Tom is going to give me the amount for MS. How much money have you, Tom Shark, raised for MS? About forty-five million dollars. Which is yes. is that larger than anybody Woo! in the United States ever? Yes. I, don't know. I know it is. It's the, it's the largest amount by a Except sole. Jerry Lewis. Jerry Lewis told <laughs> No, for MS, not for MS. MS. I'm just saying. He has a telethon. This I want to man. Jerry Lewis whenever I can. Lady, why? <laughs> why? But what about Jason? Mean, what about Jason with the American Diabetes Association and you, Peter? The money you have. I've done Alzheimer's. I do diabetes. I do We Spark. I do. Uh, what are we one upping each other with illnesses? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've done blindness. I've done arthritis. My, I've done my, bad knees. My, I've yeah, done my sad knees. people are better than you. Kevin, what have you done? <laughs> Kevin, what have you done lately? What illnesses have you played? Tornadoes. For? I, I, I do natural. I, I don't do diseases. I do natural disasters. Oh, tornadoes. Okay. That's yeah. a wonder. Wait, 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 wait. Natural disasters. We just expanded our group to do natural disasters. Exactly. <laughs> you have, you have no idea. You have no idea if you get in this group what you're going to be doing. <laughs> you know, the natural disasters. There you By go. the way, I'll tell you what. The other night I did, I hosted a thing for um, uncontrollable farting. And let me tell you, that was a very <laughs> difficult night. Uncontrollable. <laughs> <laughs> it's a flatulence group, and they just they applauded, but the standing yeah. ovation almost killed. It was me. a stinky show, though. <laughs> was a stinky show. All right, let's go to the. Hey, speaking of charity, they got a guy. We got a guy on the phone now who helped us raise quite a bit of money uh, by doing a charity event this summer. I thought. There'd be like 10 motorcycle riders. It was the first annual MS Hope Foundation charity ride. And Tom actually teared up. I don't see Tom tear up that often, but we pulled down. We were driving down PCH. Oh, yeah. No, driving up PCH. Up PCH. No, we were driving down, Dennis. Don't correct. No, you're going up. You're we going were going north. the other way. We were going the other way. We were going north. You were, I was with this man going south. You must have been going the wrong way. God, you know something? To get away from Good night, everybody. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Drive safely. Wow, Dennis. What kind of motorcycle were you on, Peter? It, uh, and I'm going to speak another language right now. 
off A. Ennis's Ike May. <laughs> no, so so the guy who was in the car with us, I said, he said, how many bikers do you think we're going to get? I said, I, you know, 30, 40, it's our first ride. 30 bikes would be great. 50 bikes would be great. We turned into the parking lot of Gladstones, where the ride where the ride started, and then we went to the Canning Club, and with me was Ron Perlman from Sons of Anarchy. There were seven, over 700 motorcyclists turned out for our first ride. Ron Perlman is on the line with us. Hi, Ronnie. You have anything for diarrhea? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Kipper? Dr. Kipper. <laughs> Dr. Kipper, Ron has diarrhea. What would you give him for that? No, I don't, I don't have diarrhea, but I'm, I'm thinking of doing a telephone. <laughs> 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 I think that's Jason's uh, department, isn't it? That's his job. Diarrhea, yes. I'm, I'm, I have uh, the cure. <laughs> I'm going to do a telephone that will give you diarrhea. Jason actually <laughs> says, give me an orifice, I'll help. <laughs> so Ronnie, Ronnie was on well, Sons of Anarchy. You, you, anyway. you, got, you got killed horribly. You got killed on uh, Sons of Anarchy. They took him out. Horribly is, is an understatement <laughs> for how I got killed. He got killed, beaten, talked badly about. It was really bad. Suddenly, last summer. Yeah, pretty. <laughs> okay, good to, good talking to you, Ron. <laughs> anyway, really, call in any time, guys. i got to get back to my radio show. <laughs> hey, Ron, how's the weather in New York, Ron? It's miserable. Yeah. Okay, great. No. It's, uh, <laughs> so I don't call my brother. You yeah. like slipping and sliding down the street. It's perfect. Wait, Ronnie, what are you, Ron, what are you doing back in New York? Are you there full time now? This is my my hometown. I don't know if you if you realize that. I, but, uh, but every time I bump into you, it's been out here. I didn't realize you were back in New York. I have a place here. I have a mom here. Um, my wife has her entire family here. We have we have so many roots here. It's been the best Chinese food in the. Uh, Oh, so you went to New York for Chinese. Okay. North America. Yeah, because it's Christmas. That's what Jews do. <laughs> well, we're at Canners tonight. Well, Ron was the only one in Sons of Anarchy that on sundown on Friday nights, he said, I got to take the bike in. I can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it till tomorrow when the sun. I can ride it, but I can't start it. If somebody else starts it. Actually, actually I, I said that every day with the theater. But, um, right, but, hey, Ronnie, you know what? That could have been one day. Whack me. What? You know, I, I, you know, Peter talked about it before about having our first um, MS Hope Foundation fundraiser. And we raised well over $125,000 because of you and bringing the rest of the cast to that fundraiser, to that bike ride. Never would have happened without you. And I, I just I love, I love you. You know that. And um, any kid oh, that goes God, to no. any kid that goes to George Washington Uni George Washington High School. And becomes um, Hellboy, Hellboy one and two and three maybe. That's my kind of guy. Any any guy that graduates George Washington High School and can still speak English, <laughs> I'll tell you. But yeah, but Tom, I mean, forty-five million dollars. I I hope that's not been lost on anyone. Isn't that one stunning? Individual, Tom Sher. Well, Sherry, no, no, that's not true. Million dollars. It's not one person. Over the years. So I'm just a piker. <laughs> no, but we're going to do we're going to do more stuff. Ronnie, come back safe. Have a wonderful holiday with your family, and uh, I wish you, you a lot of health, happiness. I feel as you're throwing me off the show, Peter. And we got to go to break. We're taking a break. I was gonna wish time, by the way, Peter, next time you have you know a big bike Wait, I, I, I charity, could through. you tell me not to show up on a Schwinn? I didn't know it was that kind. <laughs> All right, of Ronnie wants to say, hold on, let's keep him on for a second. Then let's go to break. We'll do the the track. No, no, that's right. okay. I'm 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 I'm, I'm fine. Oh, oh, I'll sit in the dark. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah, he is yeah. a Jew. Right. Is a we'll, Jew. Be back with, we'll be back without Ron Perlman next. Sorry, he'll sit in the dark. Seven minutes to two, <laughs> uh, Talk Radio 790 KBC. <laughs> How sad was that? We'll be back after we do traffic first in the forest. We'll be right back.